Let's say you, yes you, get evicted with the boys and now have to live with no money and nowhere to live. Maybe you should get some galvanized square seal, or better, get a job. Today, we will be exploring one of the highest paid and pristine jobs, the CEO. A CEO is the highest officer charged with taking care of a company or organization. It's a very high paying job, and all I care about is about the money. CEOs are responsible for a variety of tasks. 72% of CEOs' work time is spent on meetings. The other 28% of the time is spent on relationships, business units and reviews, strategy, and culture organization. Only 1% of their time is working on crisis management. Other jobs related to CEOs are CFOs, which are chief financial officers, and COO, which is chief operating officer. These jobs fill out the tasks that the CEO doesn't complete. For example, the chief operating officer oversees the organization's daily operations. Leadership skills such as visionary thinking, strategic planning, think about the future, emotional intelligence, and communication are all very important skills to become a CEO. There are thousands of courses and classes to take, but many successful CEOs take accounting, economic, or marketing courses. However, other CEOs take courses such as engineering or customer service training. It can depend on what company you're leading. CEOs typically work in offices, but they tend to travel to different countries and locations. It might sound like a fun job, but they work an average of 62 hours a week, working nine hours or more a day. If you take breaks during weekends, CEOs work 12.5 hours per weekday. However, CEOs are paid handsomely. They're one of the most highest paying jobs in the world, averaging $240,000 annually. One of the first pros are compensation. As being the head of an organization, you basically swim in cash and get bonuses if you work well. Another pro is that you get to work with large teams. CEOs work with a diverse and large team that can do some of your work. You can also assign people tasks and guide them, so you don't have to work that much. Another perk of being a CEO is your reputation. If you make great decisions, your reputation will increase significantly more than others. You're the face of the company. Also, you get a lot of networking opportunities. There are millions of opportunities to meet other directors and executives. You get to travel the world. It's really fun. However, being a CEO has many cons, such as paperwork. As CEOs, you need to do boring tasks that include paperwork. On top of that, you need to work long hours. Many CEOs don't have the precious time to go on vacations or have free time. They're always busy. Because of long working hours, many CEOs also have a lot of stress. Being the face of the company can be stressful. CEOs don't have a lot of time to spend with family. This can create negative emotions. You'll need great stress management. Oh, and by the way, the media is ready to pressure you whenever you make a decision. And the public can judge your ideas and opinions. Everyone has eyes and ears everywhere when you make a mistake. Thank you for watching my quick video about CEOs. If you want to see the sources or any of my research, please tell me in class. Thanks for watching. Go, go, go.